Today we're going to be looking at Manhattan Loft Gardens, a three bed worth £5,000 per month and a studio apartment which is worth £2,300 per month. We are at the 36th floor. This is a studio apartment, so you get um, a live work unit and then you get a bed on the right hand side. It comes fully furnished and I want to show you around. So here is your living area. Obviously it overlooks onto your studio apartment where the bed is located, but it gives you some sort of divide. So if you want to work or live in one place, but then over here you can obviously have your bed. This goes up, so this could be all stored up all in here. So you effectively have another living room space here. So every apartment has fitted wardrobes and it comes with this nice wood finish. LED lights inside here, it's pretty good. These are your chest of drawers. Is this storage as well? This is not storage. This is pretty decent as well. If you want to put your TV here, you can do. So I think this is for yeah for the wires for the TV. This is more storage. It's pretty handy. The Wi-Fi unit there, so modem for the Wi-Fi. It's pretty high end. Some Nokia stuff. I've got more storage. Yeah, more storage. Oh look, you get speakers as well fitted in, so you can have surround sound in every room. Yeah, that must be Bluetooth then. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's connected through the system, which we'll go through. So, if you look at these, these are like your light switches, so you can actually have them on a dimmer switch. So, one, two, and they just go up, if you like that mood lighting sort of thing. Okay. So, this is the bathroom, you have a rain shower. Loads of storage. Juravit basins and, and sinks and stuff. Floating toilet. So we walk over to the kitchen. So again, loads more storage. So this is the fridge, Siemens, the fridge freezer. Oh, wow, okay. I like how everything's so hidden, you know? Yeah, so you've got the washer-dryer there. This is probably the heating unit. It controls, it controls everything. What's behind this one? Is that a door as well? So, no. This is okay. Not a door. No. So this is the oven. It's pretty decent. Yeah, it's all quality. Yeah, Siemens. Siemens uh, extractor fan, Siemens hob, Siemens oven. It's pretty good, the whole apartment comes furnished, so you get like little little mod cons, which is a coffee maker, toaster, kettle, yeah. so someone can pretty much walk in and live. They don't need to really grab things. Yeah. Obviously, crockery, glasses and stuff. I like this little mirror thing that they've got behind the kitchen as well. Yeah. It's quite nice. So, let me show you this bit. So this is, the. it controls the thermostat, it controls the lighting, um, in the whole of the apartment, so you can control it from just this one gizmo. Let's have a look at the views. So I think that's what is really, really, really spectacular here. Another key feature about which I really love about this development is these sort of designed sort of windows that they've got. So apart throughout the whole building, they've got these little features, and you'll see little little you know design effects everywhere across the building. Here's the window, so obviously for security reasons they don't open too much. Yeah. But it lets in, you know, a decent amount of air. The blinds are electric as well, so that's pretty good. Okay. And where can you control the blinds then? So the, the blinds are controlled by the same um, electric uh, gizmo on the wall. So it controls basically the whole hub. More controlled by here. So okay. the moving lighting, obviously here, but then it controls the heating. The electric blinds are done from here. So it's pretty good. It also has air conditioning um, and sort of air th flowing through through these vents. Okay, so you've always got kind of fresh air coming fresh in. Fresh air, because yeah. obviously the windows, you can't open the windows as much mm. um, for security reasons, obviously. But I think the best place about this is obviously the views. You know, you can see 
pretty much east part of London, the East Village. It's pretty decent. You've got Westfields just here on the right hand side. Um, obviously, the West Ham Stadium is just behind us, and then you've got East Village just literally on your doorstep. So, going out, restaurants, going out in the evenings or in the daytime if you want to grab some lunch, it's great. The key thing about this development also is that there's restaurants downstairs inside the development. So, if you want to have a bite to eat, they can deliver up, or you can go downstairs, which you get uh, a preferential sort of discount to as well. Um, we'll show you that a little bit later on. So the good thing about being on this floor, you have access to the actual terrace, which is on the 36th floor. This is accessible to wow. all the tenants. So if you have a fob, come over here. It could be literally the extension of your apartment. This will be like perfect in the summer. Yeah, so Bring the, the friends round. On the weekends, then we have like yoga classes, the new classes here, so, so the residents obviously can, can maximize the space um, that they have. Okay. So, on this side, you can see the city. So, Canary Wolf is on this side. Obviously, the Westfield Centre is just here as well. So right now we're on the 38th floor, I'm going to be showing you a three bed, two bath apartment, duplex. But just check out these views. So this flat is on the market at £5,000 a month. So it's a three bed, two bath apartment. Let's take you through. So straight away, you can just feel that this space is massive. So it's got the same sort of features as ones that we've just seen. But it's a duplex level, so you've got amazing views, but on two different levels. And then the kitchenette. So let me run you through. So again, loads of storage. This is the double style American style fridge. So look how big that is. That's yeah, massive. this is crazy. Okay. This is obviously I think the freezer at the bottom. I think it also dispenses ice, so yeah, it's got an ice dispenser here as well. Yeah. I like this little LED thing that they've got at the top here as well. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but it's very different. I mean, just check the views out. Imagine, imagine cooking here, entertaining your guests, and then having a view like that. Wow. You've got the Shard, you've got the Gherkin, you've got uh, the West Ham London Stadium. I mean, this is really, really high-end quality stuff. Yeah. So similar to the one downstairs, you get obviously the oven, all Siemens, obviously a little bit of a, a bigger induction hob, extractor fan. And then again, lo loads of storage. They've obviously used the space very well. Yeah, and everything's hidden as well. Yeah, so it's like this flush sort of finish. Yeah. It's pretty decent. So obviously, yeah, really, really good furniture. Again, you know, you can use so much of this space. Obviously it's so exposed, but obviously don't forget, you get blind. So, you know, there's gonna be privacy that you, that you get as well with this apartment. And then you get a Juliet balcony here as well. Let me get that. Wow, out. okay. So, you can step out. So you kind of do get like 360 views like around the whole building. For sure, and can you see the same, can you see the same like structural sort of architecture that they've used, it's yeah. around the whole building. It's not flat, it's got curves everywhere. This is the shower room. Enough for two people. So again, every apartment has obviously lots of storage. So, so again, you know, 
again, it feels like it's a small room, but it's not because you've got loads of storage space. Mm. Yeah. And these LED lights are just an awesome touch for, you know. Yeah, so they come on, you've got a mirror in this one. So they come on when you obviously open the door and store the chair. It's pretty good, you can actually see the blinds down, so it gives you an element of what the place will look like. Oh, wow. It's a great room. So this is one out of the three rooms. Uh, this is three one bedrooms. out of the three, yeah. Okay. So this is the WC, so obviously if you have guests, they want you to enter your room, they can just use this as a restroom. Yeah, that's good. So, yeah. you know. There's a bit of privacy, so because it's an apartment, everything's here, so you don't need to really allow people in. So this is the second bedroom again, storage is it's good. Lots of storage in these as well? Yeah, I mean, okay. I think it's ample. For one person you obviously have space in this in this room as well for a chest of drawers if you need it or even a desk people mm. are working from home at the moment so this is the master bedroom okay much more space than this one as well yeah look you get still some amazing views of london being on the 38th floor i mean it's literally you can see as far as yeah look how far you can see see so, what the bathroom's like yeah, so this one you get two. You get the shower as well as the bathtub. I like this little finish that they've got on the walls as well. I'm not sure what it's called, but it looks kind of like paper. Like kind of rough, kind of that paper yeah. texture. I like it gives that. it a bit of a yeah, texture to the, to the wall. Okay. And again, look, loads of storage. I mean, look, they've used the space. The way they've designed it, so like it gives you a separation and it's like a walk-in wardrobe, if you want to call it that. Mm. You know? And I think we have some more storage here. So look, they've used every space available, which is good because in new builds, they don't really give you much space. So I think it's pretty decent that you actually get a decent amount of space. And here, obviously, you can probably use this as a desk area. You know, I'm saying that because a lot of people are working from home at the moment. So I think that's a good thing that you have the facility there to, to work from home. So here you have it. So this is the three bed. Two bath apartment in the heart of East Village in Manhattan Loft Gardens.